Hey guys and girls, this is Martin from How to Make Mobile Games on YouTube. Uh, hope everyone's doing well, having a great week and, and having a good good development uh, process this week and not having too many bugs and setbacks and so on. Um, this is a this is a fast video on um, our game called Ascend X, which has been on iPhone for a while. Uh, it's also been out on Android as well, but we we recently did an update with uh, with our studio Cobalt Play. So this is a this is basically a development diary video for those of you who are new to the dev diary videos. It's just sort of me uh, programming, coding, trying to solve problems, and giving people a, an insight into how game development works, especially as a, as an independent developer. But it's also for those of you who want to kind of improve your game programming skills or your game development skills, um, hopefully to give you some ideas and hopefully just to you know have an interesting video to see how other game developers work so uh, there's other videos in the series which actually are tutorials so definitely check them out in the channel but if you have any questions about anything that we're talking about then please leave a comment down below subscribe and so on uh, and I'll do my best to do a video and and we'll get back to you and, and give you answers as best we can as well so that's the whole point of this channel is to, is to kind of uh, give as much information as possible so this is a Sendex anyway. This is uh, this is running in Unity 3D. Um, for those of you who are new, this is uh, this is a uh, basically game development software, a game engine that we use. Uh, a Sendex is is real similar to Ninja, as you can probably tell. I'm just tapping on one button here, uh, and I'm bouncing side to side to avoid these these squares which are coming down. Uh, it's hard. It's actually a lot harder than Ninja. Uh, Ninja Jump's a great game. I love uh, I love the the style. I love the timing. I love the uh, the, the pace of the game. Um, and that, this is obviously a direct inspiration. Um, we've been directly inspired by Ninja Jump. So, but this is a lot harder. Uh, the timing is a lot more difficult as well. Um, trying to get between these squares is tough. This is actually lagging at the moment a little bit because I'm using the screen recording software. Um, but whoa, there we go. I just about made that one. Oh crap! Okay, I just died. Never mind. Um, but uh, so part of the update is uh, recently we we uh, we did a submission for this version 1.1 1 .1, uh, in Unity, and one of the problems was that Apple. Uh, this was for the iPhone. Apple actually rejected it and said, "No, we can't. We can't accept this." Um, part of the reason was because in this screen right here, this is a score multiplier screen. Uh, now what happens in the game is is uh, as you climb climb or go high, uh, you can see that there's a score multiplier which is at the moment times one. As soon as you increase that to times two, the score here gets doubled times three and so on. So the score climbs higher faster. The higher score multiplier that you have. Uh, the problem was in this screen here, and probably some other developers have seen this, is that um, it was basically what we were saying is, uh, hey, here's, if you share the game with somebody else. If you give them your code, which, which which appeared in the bottom of this screen here, like sort of down here before, uh, if you give them their code, they can increase their score multiplier. And if they give you uh, their code and you input it, then your score multiplier increases. So it was kind of like a viral way to get the game around, and that was the idea. Um, we've not had any problem publishing it on Android. On on, it's actually going through the development process in Amazon. But we got rejected from Apple saying, "Hey, like you know, you can't uh, you can't do this because of I think kind of the reason was something like it. Um, I can't remember the exact reason off the top of my head. I'm sorry, uh, but something like it was basically we the the enter a code feature is something that that is something that uses functionality outside of the App Store, which I don't really get because." the point of it was that somebody else would download Ascend X and then they would have the game and then they could share their code with the player so it kind of increases the number of downloads on the iPhone App Store so it's I don't know it's a little bit strange it happens it happens with uh, you know with App Store approvals not not just on Apple but um, sometimes you know in development especially on mobile the the App Stores are kind of they have their gates and their approval process and they say hey, yes or no to certain things so that happens a lot. So what I'm trying to figure out now is how to is how to basically get this this score multiplier screen done um, with without using the the code thing. And what I'm thinking of doing is something kind of similar to to Temple Run, where you basically increase the 
the score multiply grade the more time that the player's in the game. So if they spend, say, I don't know, 10 minutes of gameplay actually playing the game, I don't mean like just leaving it on and, and putting the, the, the iPad or the iPhone down, then say after 10 minutes of gameplay, the score multiply would increase to the, the next grade, in this case, uh, times two, times three, and so on. Um, that might be a good way to do it. So I'm actually going to have a think about that, and I'm going to come back to this video, and I might do a separate one anyway. So, um, but, you know, again, any questions, the, this is a developer diary video. This is just me talking and, giving, and sharing information. Uh, but we do tutorial videos as well, so check it out. We just uploaded a Pong one recently, uh, and that's actually being finished pretty soon as well. So, And that's how to make Pong inside of Unity. So uh, I'll be back. Uh, this is Martin from How to Make Mobile Games, and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.